Okay, today we're taking a look at this 1994 Mitsubishi Delica. This is a very unique Delica. Uh, one of the more interesting ones that we brought in. Uh, it's one of the newer generation Delicas, an L400 body style. So this is the rounded out body style. They move the engine forward. It has more of a hood. Um, started making these in late 1994. And this one has been pretty heavily modified from original. Uh, it's all been very well done. And you can see a few of the brands that were used here. It was, I believe the company was 88 House, is a Japanese company that did a lot of the lift kit modifications and other things around it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a unique one. It stands out from all the other L400s that I've seen. Um, it's a pretty well executed version and it's been really, really well maintained. Um, this thing is in great shape. It's a little bit higher mileage, around 260,000 kilometers, but uh, it doesn't really look the part. So here we can go into the inside. Honestly, the inside is the less exciting part of this Delica because it's just a standard Delica. Uh, Delicas are fun on the inside, this, especially the L400s. I love the interiors on these, but this one hasn't really been changed a whole lot in here. There are some changes to the door panels. They change the color there as well as the ceiling panel here. And according to the original owner in Japan, they added some extra soundproofing into these doors. Those aftermarket speakers were installed. A few extra things throughout. As you can see there, 262,000 kilometers. Starting up. Sounds good. Um, the coolant gauge on here is not working, so there's a water temp gauge up there along with the boost gauge. Uh, boost gauge comes in handy because you do have a boost controller, so there's a few extra aftermarket things going on in the engine bay related to the turbo and boost and stuff like that, so we'll get to that a little bit later, but that is your boost controller. You can adjust all the settings here. All that works. Um, I would be careful with. You don't want to over boost these engines. But yeah, you've got a boost gauge there to let you know where you're at with that. You also have some aftermarket speakers all the way around, a lot of extra stuff added in. Uh, wired up to this Clarion stereo here. But AC blows cold, heat works, everything works in here. Um, also has an aftermarket exhaust, so it's a little bit louder than these would normally be. And this one is a four-wheel drive model, obviously, so you get um, the Super Select transfer case here. So this one pushes right into four-wheel drive, no problem. That engages. Um, so pretty easy. Pull that back out for now. But yeah, the Super Select four-wheel drive is awesome because in four high, you can kind of treat it like all-wheel drive where you don't need to worry about turning and stuff like that. It's not a true four-wheel drive. You push it further forward into four lock center. That'll lock the center diff. That'll be true four-wheel drive. You don't want to be turning tight or anything like that. It'll skip. So, yeah, that's pretty much it here. Shut everything off for now. It does look like the shifter was also modified to be angled slightly more up. And then the engine bay is definitely a very unique one. So there's a few aftermarket things going on in here. You can see you've got different uh, stainless intercooler piping instead of the uh, fabric ones that you would have in the factory setup. You also have a blow off valve there. Um, and then some things down here related to the turbo, your boost controller and all that is wired up down there. Um, so that'll control the boost that goes into the turbo. You got the wiring for your water temp sensor there. And you notice these green poles here. So everything in the engine bay has actually been lowered a bit. Uh, other than the intercooler, the intercooler is where it would be in its factory location so they can still use that hood scoop. But the engine is further down than it would normally be. Um, and yeah, your radiator is further down. All that's been dropped to kind of assist with the lift. Um, because you do need to lower the transmission in order to do a proper lift on these. 
So differentials, transmission, all that stuff is lower and the body is higher. So you can see under here, there's the bottom of your radiator now. There's a new housing to kind of hold it lower. Um, but you have some new shocks. I believe the brand is Pro Comp 9000 shocks. Um, those are taller, those are a bit more heavy duty than the factory ones. So the entire axle up here, or actually, well, the suspension up here is lower down. And then in the rear, the axle is dropped way down. So you can see here, we've got kind of a total of a six inch lift uh, all the way around. So you have four inch uh, spring toppers here to drop everything down. Then you have those Pro Comp CS9000 shocks there. Um, those I believe bring it up an extra two inches. So you've got Four inch spacers, two inch lift, uh, two inch torsion bar lift in the front. That brings everything to six inches total. Um, we've got an aftermarket sway bar there, but everything has a lot of suspension travel and a lot of room to move around. So this thing can do some serious off-roading. Um, very, very custom, very cool. Definitely not something you see every day in a Delica. And it's all really well executed. You also have a, I believe the van is, the brand is Sukon muffler there. Uh, pretty big muffler. Sounds good. No leaks or anything either. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Then you also have these aftermarket fender flares to go along with the giant wheels on this. It's running 33 inch tires on some aftermarket chrome uh, rims. And yeah, the big fender flares to kind of match that. So these are big tires, they're also very wide. But they look pretty new. BF Goodrich KO2s, those are the best in the business as far as all terrains go. If you're doing any off-roading, you know about these tires and it's a pretty good setup. And you also have these big mud flaps to complement those. Looks pretty cool. Um, and then here, this fender flare is a little different, obviously. It needs to open up to accommodate the sliding door here. So it doesn't look like the sliding door should be able to make it around, but this has been adjusted a little bit so that, that falls further outwards. So we can go around and you see there's an extension here that they installed. This is a bit of a more crude installation, but you get the idea. Um, that pushes it just far enough out where it goes around this fender flare. And then in here it's very standard Delica, so you've got the bench seat in the rear, um, plus this little jump seat here that it can fold down. Uh, so you have a total of seven seats, two in the rear, three in the middle, two in the front. And then these seats are folded up and out of the way, so you can kind of demonstrate you know, how these Fold up for storage, headrests are down there, uh, those fold down pretty easily. You also have a nice tint in the back here, uh, no sunroofs in this model, pretty simple trim. You do got the power closing side door though. You've got some aftermarket LED tail lights here, and then yeah, the list of brands that were used to uh, modify this. I haven't fully cleaned out the interior yet um, for this one, so it'll be a lot cleaner and I'll add some more photos on the website once it is cleaned up. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Pretty simple. A lot of chrome accents on the outside as well. That tailgate there, door handles up here, side mirrors. A lot of chrome. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this Delica. This is a very, very unique Delica. Um, I doubt we'll be seeing many more like this here in the US. So if you're into some serious rock crawling and off-roading, this is definitely a good way to get into that, uh, a good way to stand out a little bit uh, on the Overland stuff. So definitely check it out on the website. Uh, it's a pretty cool build, it's well done. I, I really like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do now seeing it in person. 
Um, it's, it's growing on me, so. Yeah, JDM car and motorcycle. This one's listed 1994 Mitsubishi Delica with a six inch lift. Check it out. Thanks for watching.